Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to another tutorial and today we're going to be looking at rack extensions, a new concept introduced by Reason in Reason 6.5. For Reason 6.5, users and higher. Essentially, rack extensions are VSTs or the alternative to a VST. Alright, let's take a look how we can download them and try them for free. We're going to go up here to shop. This is propellerhead.sc, the main page. Click shop. And here we arrive at the shop. All right, we see we have options for software, hardware, rack extensions, refills, learning apparel. We are going to click on rack extensions. All right, now we are in the browse section. This is in the spotlight. All right, so these are some rack extensions that are being highlighted. What we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to find one that we want to try and we are going to load it up in Reason from the beginning to the end. So I'm going to click on browse. Alright, now they are divided by show all, creative effects, instruments, studio effects and utilities the same thing that when you go down to create instrument or create studio effects it's the same idea all right so let's go ahead and I feel like trying a reverb all right well I'm gonna go down to this RPV verb effect by Rob Papin it's a name that maybe if you use Fruity Loops or any other program that has VST, VSTs, you're probably familiar with the name. And I'm just going to click try. After clicking try, because I'm already logged in, you're going to see something that says your download should start now. And there it is, starting for me. These are all my rack extensions, all right? Now, once it's complete, it's going to update the licenses right here. All right, so our licenses have now been updated. The next thing we're gonna do is go to Reason and open Reason. All right, and then once Reason is ready, all we have to do is go to Create, Studio Effects, and at the bottom we have the reverb that we just downloaded. All right, now this reverb or this particular rack extension is good for one month. And you can do this with all the rack extensions, or well, the majority. There's some that won't let you try. This is really good because maybe there's something that you don't know if you want. Maybe you would like to compare two synthesizers. Maybe you have $50 and you want to buy something, but you're not, not quite sure what the effect you want, or you're comparing two effects. You can try it out, see if you like it, and if you like it, you can keep it, all right? Um, a word of caution. If you like them and you make a bunch of beats with them, after 30 days, the device is not going to be there. So either finish that beat in that month, finish that song in that month, export it and get it done, or find an alternative. If you buy a synthesizer, you might need to try to find an alternative sound because you're still going to have the MIDI information saved. All right, that's it. That's all there is to it. Um, it's easy, it's fast, and it's free. All right, I hope you found this uh, tutorial enjoy enjoyable and helpful. And if you could, please give me a thumbs up. All right, thanks. Have a lovely day. Peace.